And we gather this glorious day in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. Oh, what a special day it is today, because today we celebrate Mass for people with special needs, and I'm at the top of the list. Because I don't see very well, you know. I can't drive at night. Everybody has a special need, but some very special people are helping us to celebrate today. Grace is here, and Kara's here, and Ken's here, and uh, Becky's going to read for us. I mean, everybody is here to celebrate. Grace, you want to help me celebrate? Yeah. Grace is going to help me celebrate. Nope. Yeah, because I can't do this. Yeah, Grace. Home? Not yet. Yep, pretty soon, though. We're here to celebrate who we are as God's wonderful, beautiful, special children. And you're one of God's very, very special children. So we are, we are all gathered together today to say, how do we live? How do we fully live? Today's all about the zest for life. Today, Jesus is going to... Tony? Yeah, Grace. Mom. Pretty soon. <laughs> you can go back to Mommy, okay? <laughs> if I don't preach too long, kid, we'll be home. <laughs> today, today, we celebrate life because Jesus is going to... His first sign is to turn water into wine for only one reason. To keep the party going. And today we are called to keep the party going. And to prepare ourselves for that, let us open up our hearts to receive the grace of God. Let us now be seated because Becky's going to come and read for us the first reading that she's been practicing all week long. Okay, beautiful. Right up there. A reading from the book of Isaiah. For Zion's sake, I will not be silent. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not be quiet until a vindication shines forth like the dawn and her victory like a burning torch. Nations shall behold your vindication and all the kings your glory. To be called by a new, new name, pronounced by the mouth of the earth. You shall be a glorious crown in the hand of the Lord, oil died them, held by your God. No more shall people call you forsaken or your land desolate. But you shall be called my delight in your land as spouse. For the Lord delights in you and makes your land his spouse. As a young man, marry the virgin, your builder shall marry you. And as a bridegroom rejoice in his bride, so shall your God rejoice in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. That was perfect, Becky. Thank you very much. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, there are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God, who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. To one is given through the Spirit the expression of wisdom, to another the expression of knowledge according to the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by the one Spirit, to another mighty deeds, to another prophecy. To another, discernment of spirits. To another, varieties of tongues. To another, interpretation of tongues. But one and the same spirit produces all of these, distributing them individually to each person as he wishes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. 
Now there was a wedding feast in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was invited, and, and so were Jesus and his disciples also invited to the wedding. And then the wine ran out. The mother of Jesus said to him, Son, they have no more wine. Jesus said to his mother, Woman, how does this concern of yours involve me? My hour has not yet come. His mother then said to the servers, Do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars there for Jewish ceremonial washings, each holding 20 to 30 gallons of water. Jesus told them to fill them to the brim with water. So they filled each of them to the brim. Then he said to them, draw some out now, take it to the head waiter, the steward in charge. So they took it. Now, now when the head waiter had tasted the water that had become wine without knowing where it came from, although the servers who had drawn the water, they knew, the head waiter called the bridegroom and he said to them, you know, everyone serves the good wine first. And then when people have drunk freely, uh, an inferior wine. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this at the beginning of his signs at Cana in Galilee and so revealed his glory and his disciples began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Jeff, Joe, I need you. I need Katie. And I need, come on up here. Katie, you want to come up here too? And I don't know, Grace, you want to come? You want to stay there? Whatever you want to do, either either or. And because you are at the wedding feast. And it's a wonderful wedding feast. Becky read to us today. Becky, you want to come up too and help us? Becky read to us today. Yeah. Pretty soon. Pretty soon. Yeah. Becky read to us today about the very last line she says and I am going to choose a bride and it's going to be Israel and I'm going to choose a bridegroom and I'm going to espouse them. Now there is a party going on. Everybody is having a great time and the first day it was a lot of fun and the second day it was a lot more fun. On the third day they ran out of wine. No more wine, and they were all sad. Yeah, what do we do? There's no more wine. No, good girl, good, you no more wine. (laughs) We're really sad. We're out of wine. Because wine is a sign and a symbol of life. It's a sign of the zest of life, and the zest of life is going out because it's the third day. Now, there are two other people invited to the party. One was Jesus' mother, Mary. (laughs) Ta-da! The other was Jesus and his disciples. Now, Mary saw that they ran out of wine. And she says, this is not good. So she turns to her son. And she says, Jesus, we're out of wine. I love Jesus' response. It's the same response that he gave to his mom and dad when he was 12 years old in the temple. When his mother came up and she says, your mother and I, your father and I are going crazy. We've been looking for you for three days. Today she's going, she's going, they're out of wine. And Jesus gives the same response. And your problem is? (laughs) As one of my preachers once says, I don't care if he is the son of God. No one talks to his mother like that. (laughs) No. It's really interesting. But Mary knows her son. Mary knows her son very, very, very well. And so she just says to the stewards, here are the two stewards, Joseph and Jeff, the stewards, go do whatever he tells you to do. 
That's the best advice in the world. Whatever Jesus tells you to do, do it. Because it's the very best for everybody. So here, they go over here. Come on. And what Jesus tells them to do is to take, take the water jugs. Got the water jug? Hold on to it tight. You got it? Don't lose it. It's a biggie. All right? Take the water jugs. These jugs are used for purification. These jugs are used to cleanse people, to get everybody ready for the, for the, for the next thing that's going to be coming. If they're going to have a wonderful banquet, well, they've got to wash their hands first. It, it, whatever they've got to do, they've got to get themselves ready. They've got to get themselves pure. And fill them to the brim. So he takes the jugs, they fill them to the brim, and he fills them up. Hold on. Joe, hold it up. The water. I know, I know. Ta da! Ta da! Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ta da! Ta da! Okay, Jeff, put that back over there. The wine! The wine! He, he turns the water into wine. It, it, but now, John doesn't say anything. John doesn't even call this a miracle. Actually, this is a cheap trick. <laughs> All right. What's it smell like, Joe? Vape? Kool Aid. <laughs> but he brings it to the steward in charge. And the steward tastes it. Sip, 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 sip. And says, wait a minute. This can't be wine. Yes. <laughs> it tastes like Kool-Aid. Yeah, great flavor Kool-Aid. <laughs> he takes it to the side, and he takes it to the, to the one inside, and he says, he says, He's like, normally you save the best wine, you give the best wine at the beginning. You save the best wine for the end. What's the wine? Here's the wine. I'm standing among the new wine. I'm standing among the most beautiful people in the world. This is the new wine. But if we're not ready, if our container has not been purified, then we can't see it. Then we don't know what it is. It still looks like water to us. All of life is wonderful and gorgeous and beautiful. And this is all of life. Why? Because everyone needs Jesus. Everyone has a special need. No one is exempt. And what Jesus wants to give us is ah, the wine of life, the wine of joy, the new wine. Now we can't put it in the old wineskins, but it's the new wine of life. Everybody take a little bow, a little applause for the Father Tony players. <laughs>
Somebody once says the job of the Christian, come on around, is to stand so close to each other that one can't fall for the other. That's our, that's our work. We stand with each other. Come on in, Grace. Come on, precious. Yeah. Yeah, Grace. Pretty soon. <laughs> we turn to the Father as one family of faith. Let us together pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. And graciously grant peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and, and protected from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your disciples, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church. And graciously grant us the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Now let us share a sign of peace. Peace be with you, Grace. Peace be with you, Jeff. Peace be with you, Joe. Ken, peace be with you. Peace be with you, Kira. Peace be with you, Becky. You guys can go back to your places. Yeah, yeah. Take a walk. Let's take a walk. Yeah, we'll take a walk. Special thanks to Debbie and to and everybody who worked to make this a really very special Mass, especially the young people who came to, to celebrate with us and be with us today. We are honored to be in your presence because you speak to us of life. 